So why did I choose not to offer weight loss or restrictive meal plans or diets in my practice? Well, first and foremost, studies show time and time again, diets don't work and you tend to regain the weight over time and some more. And each time you do that, you feel a little bit worse about yourself, like you've failed, but it's really the approach that's failed. So while I won't offer a restrictive meal plan with the goal of weight loss, what I will offer is a holistic care, a listening ear, and a kinder, gentler approach reviewing the driver's seat, using the principles of intuitive eating, the concepts of mindfulness and mindful eating, and really digging deep into your relationship with food, your psychology and your emotions, and your coping mechanisms for stress, because there may be an element of emotional eating and using food as a way to cope with emotions. So we want to find other ways to cope and other tools sometimes partnering with a therapist to help with issues. And really, it's simple, really. Uh, taking care of yourself, cooking nourishing meals, trying to find easy meals within your budget and your schedule, food you enjoy. Eating should be fun and enjoyable. Uh, trying foods from around the world and just finding activities and movements that you find joyful and you enjoy. So it's really building a relationship with you, listening to your story, your thoughts, your past experiences, and being gentle with lots of self-compassion to find something that works in the long term, that's sustainable, and that really ties in with your inner wisdom and intuition, um, but not looking for those short-term goals trying to look at you as a whole person without the emotional charged and often painful focus on the scales because you're so much more than that. You're worthy, you're awesome and you're wonderful right now.